When you're fishing here in the Detroit River for walleye and you're jig fishing on the bottom, anywhere from 20 to about 40 feet of water, you really need to use a heavy jig head. I'm holding up a 5 8 ounce jig head. This is an orange one. This one, in all likelihood, is produced locally because in a lot of places you can't buy a 5 8 ounce jig head. It's a pretty big jig head. So we use these jig heads and you can see that it's got a pretty good size hook. And for some reason, when you're jigging on the bottom, a brown plastic worm, four inches long, works really well. My go-to lure is the finesse fish, the four inch, and probably in either the alewife color or the shad, which is silver with like a brown or black back. But what I found even today was that if I take one of these spanky, that's what they're called. So this is a plastic worm made by Lunker City that's designed to be used for wacky rigs, where the hook is actually, you know, on a little bit of a elastic like this hanging down so that this has the action, both of them from side to side. But what I found is that the spanky is ideal because it's thick at both ends. So if you take it, a lot of worms that are just this diameter will get split by the actual lead that's on the shaft of the hook. So what I do is I insert it in the fat end and I go down about three, four inches, maybe more, okay? And I slide it up the hook and because it's wider here, it allows that weight to actually go inside it without ripping it apart. So I just slide that on so it's flush and I make sure that it's hanging down straight. Now, in some cases, if the fish are biting short, you can actually trim it off right there and that's about four inches or you can leave that for that nice tantalizing action. But for some reason, some days, they like the brown, just a straight worm over the actual fish, you know, like the finesse fish or something that looks more like a bait fish. And the important thing is that you fish this jig so that every time you go down, it's touching the bottom, your line goes loose. You lift up, touch the bottom, lift up, and because that current is pushing you back, you're covering a lot of water, you go to lift up and you've got a fish on. That's when you set the hook. You know, so many people like to fish with live bait, especially when it comes to walleye fishing. I think from my tournament days, you know, going back about 30 years ago, 25 years ago, I got so much confidence using artificial lures and especially soft plastic grubs. Now today on the Detroit River, most of the anglers that are jigging are either using a four inch plastic worm or they're using the four inch finesse fish on a heavy jig head and working it on the bottom. I don't know what it is, maybe it's a combination of the different colors that they use, but I think it's the movement and the bulkiness of a 5 8 ounce jig head that if a walleye sees it, it comes over to it, and even though we're moving at four to five miles an hour with the current, they snap it up. The only problem is, because we're moving with the current, a lot of times you miss the fish. And what some of the locals do is they add a stinger hook. I didn't use one today, but if you add a stinger hook, a lot of times on a four inch bait, even if they nip the back of it, they get stung and you keep them on. You know, I'm in 36, 37 feet of water. 33 feet of water is one atmosphere. So these fish don't really fight really hard. The walleye, it's more head shaking. And I try to reel them up slow, especially the ones I'm gonna be releasing. I don't know if I can land this one without the net. I'm gonna try lifting it because it looks like it's hooked pretty good. What is interesting is that if you use the real worm, you would probably catch less fish. For some reason, the plastic works really well. You get it back into the net. All righty. It's his lucky day again. I reel them up nice and slow, so he should have lots of energy. There he goes. Canadian Sport Fishing has been brought to you in part by Rapala, premium fishing gear crafted from experience. Yamaha. Conquer Outdoors. Dickies, quality workwear since 1922. Blue Cam, a cleaner running engine for a cleaner environment. So we're probably gonna do this for a bit. Then we might change it up and go to the Michigan side and do some bass fishing because their season opens May 1. Our season in Canada for the bass doesn't start for another few weeks, about three weeks. So it's kind of nice when you come down here to the Windsor area, you know, besides going to the ICHA event, where you see so many kids and smiling faces having fun, you can also fish for a variety of fish. <laughs>